We rolling? We are. <laughs> All right. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to my channel. been so long me and my husband have been really really busy and our main channel is our other channel you can find that just type in Tucker Upper um, but we're back now and if you guys are coming over from the other channel then you've probably already seen the warehouse auction video that we just went to if you didn't we went to a warehouse auction and I ended up scoring some gold and I just I wanted to share it with you guys because I was super excited so I laid everything out because it was all in one box. So what happened was we ended up splitting a lot at this warehouse auction with our friend Glom that went with us. Um, it was only $60 for a lot. When I'm saying a lot, I mean it's a lot. So pretty much a row of pallets with boxes on them or furniture, whatever. But this specific lot had just boxes all boxes and I was like Ugh, why but sixty dollars was a deal for what I got and what ended up happening was we ended up just paying for the whole lot and uh, because our friend Glom ended up helping us a lot he took what he wanted and he was Gucci but little did Glom know there's some gold in here and I laid him out it's clothing obviously so the first jacket I'm gonna show you it's a Canada Goose, I would say this is a coat. This goes for $850. I've never spent $850 on a coat in my life. Sorry about that car. But I washed it, it's nice. Probably gonna rock it this winter, then maybe sell it next year, who knows. I'll show you what it looks like on. And I'm claiming this exact jacket at Nordstrom is $850 at the moment. And I really like how it has these the little thummies. So, and you know what's crazy? Is that every single one of these jackets that were in the box came from one person. Obviously, a small girl because the sizes are all small and extra small. Which, for me, to find... What is this? I really don't know. To you keep guys, it so it stays know. on better, right? So, very uh, nice. Or so you can just hold it like this. Oh, yeah. Or for a coat rack or something. Well, this is for the coat rack. So that was, this is probably the best one in there. For me, personally. I'll show you this, because it's just like, I don't know what it is. Maybe somebody that's watching will know. This is like a really small black zip up. The CAG school. So I don't know what that is. Moving forward, so the next piece is a jean jacket, but it's a Levi Strauss jean jacket, and it's a small. So if you guys know me from the other channel, you probably already know I'm going to keep most of these um, for now, because that's just what I do. If it's my size and my style and I like it, I'll keep it for a little bit, wear it, and then resell it. So, this probably needs to be ironed, but super nice. I'm not like too big into jean jackets. I don't know why, I just, I don't know. But this is a nice jean jacket. And it's comfy, and I like the wash of it. Very light. Next one, next one. So, this is an All Saints 
leather jacket. And I'll just show you the. I'm gonna put them on for you guys so you can just see. Because you know. Took some solid photos in this outfit earlier with this jacket, right? Yeah, it was this jacket because there's another one I'll show you guys. But this is super, super cool. Like, I looked up this brand and expensive, which I didn't know that. When I pulled it out, I was like, crappy little uh, leather jacket. Like, I wasn't, I was just basing it off of what we have found before, which we found pretty nice stuff before but this was definitely one of the best clothing box scores that I've personally ever gotten and it fits like a glove hey. and this isn't in like mint condition some of these are like really worn in the back but I mean it is what it is it served its purpose maybe I'll show you guys the picture we ended up taking since it is you know some little witchy pictures earlier so this is really nice I forget exactly what the price is but pretty sure it was like over 200 maybe even over three I think it's at like $439 I've never heard of All Saints brand but I know someone watching has all right okay so this it's called Vince I looked that brand up too fairly expensive I haven't tried this one on yet. This is an extra small. Like the fact that these are all my size is just, it was meant to be. Ooh, girl. Where's Ru? Where's Ru Ru? I need my Kiki. Sissy, come here. Oh, they're sleeping. The girls are sleeping, so. Very nice. Forget what the price said on here, but you guys can look them up. Vince, and I did wash this. Love this, like a lot. It's faux fur, so it's cool. No animals were harmed in the making of that, hopefully. And then these two didn't have a brand on them, so that's why I kind of put them off to the side. This is like a corduroy uh, leopard jean jacket, is what you would call it, I don't know. I didn't try this one on either, but it's weird that it doesn't have any brand on it. Denim, denim, denim. Hmm. So this is cool. I'll probably sell this. Is it jean or uh, corduroy? It's like a mixture, but there's no tag, so I, would, I wouldn't know. I'm just basing it off of... Uh-oh. Pup came out to check. So this is cool. MJ. No, he not. I like this, like, cut. Like, it's big. Yeah. Got any money in there? I washed this, so it would have it would have fallen out. I didn't wash, like, the leather jackets because I know that, you know, they could get ruined, and I'm pretty sure most of them are real leather. So that's gold. And then this, this is faux fur, too, and it's reversible, as you can see. So like, this would be a bomber, like a faux fur bomber, but this doesn't have a brand on it either, which I thought was strange. So that's just making me assume that it's not really that expensive, but at the same time, oh wait, where is it made? Looks like it was made in China, but then it says Spain on it, so I don't know. This is cool, right? It's got cat hair on it. That got a nice it, little hood. <clears throat> that makes it more valuable. Let's see what it looks like reversed. Ooh, it's warm this way. I see. Okay. I think I like it better this way. Because it's warmer. 
So, I mean, I would say, even though these don't have like a brand name on them, it's still a score. And they'll definitely sell after I'm done wearing them. Oh no, no wow. I didn't show any of these. Okay, guys and gals, so. I you didn't show any of this. No, yeah, or those, but these so are So put last. these over there on the ottoman and then. Okay. All right, so these are all like Zara basic, like coats and jackets, whatever you want to call them, which isn't like a crazy expensive brand, but it's still fairly expensive. And this one is a little like ruined, but you can't really see it when it's, Ooh, yeah, it's falling off. Cooked. So I don't, cause I put this on earlier and then I noticed there's like black stuff on the back of my shirt and I was like, what the hell is that? I thought I had lights for a second. But this is super cute. Should I just put it on for them? Yeah, just style it. <clears throat> cause you know, sometimes clothes can look a lot different off than on. Cause honestly, I'm not really into leather jackets either. But this one though, I might be now. That you showed already? is years to use. I guess it's because I would never like really go out of my way to buy a leather jacket unless it was for like a Well prop. the fact is like or a I've never actually seen a leather jacket that fit you like that. Yeah exactly and like if I would have found one in the house it was probably some 50 year old grown man that's bigger's leather jacket. Cool right? So this okay. one I, I couldn't definitely couldn't like Look. You see couldn't the sell that one's either for wearing or just garbage there might be a way to fix that if you guys know let me know because i'll just keep it if i can preserve it all right so like i said this is all zara that jacket was that was like something by zara though and i didn't look up the prices on these but I have been to like a thrift store that uh, I guess whoever donated the Zara basic stuff like never wore it or just kept the tags on it and they were pretty expensive it was like I mean $50 for a romper is just crazy to me but that's because I'm a thrifter so this is cute I washed this so no worries and it's faux fur So I'm gonna have to look up the pricing on most of these, like the exact pricing. The dust. This is also Zara. Throw it on for you guys. This is cool. I can't believe someone let all these get off. That's what I'm saying. So the what I got out of it from what else was in that lot was that this girl was in college somewhere either in New York or outside of New York. And her parents probably had a little bit of money. You know what I mean? Cause like somebody who works for uh, what they own, like their belongings would never throw an $850 Canada Goose jacket out that was in mint condition, ever. Why would they even put it in storage? Like it's somebody who had these did not pay for them or they just you know had a silver spoon or they just had money in, in general yeah or they just had money but it had to be i mean it didn't have to be a young girl but extra small like these are small small clothes and also there was a dresser with stuff in it too in that same lot with like bowls in it like weed bowls and stuff like that so i'm just and from what she had in there, I'm just assuming. Well, the way that this stuff looks like it was used to go partying. And yeah, like, you know, like... Like nightlife, and yeah. Stuff. And it's all very, like... because like, the couple of them had, like, weird, like, stains. You would never get just normal. Yeah, you get them, like, when you're drunk. So, <clears throat> definitely came from someone younger, like a college student. So, this is there also. That's nice. Had, I like that. This one had some drunk stains on it too, some party stains, like she fell and was sleeping in a bush for like two hours until her friends found her. So. I don't know. This is nice, this one though. Super nice, but I couldn't sell it because. No, nah, I would just use that for like a 
Definitely. Oh, so oh, yeah. this is the same exact jacket as the black one that I took pictures with today. It's just red. Because look, same it's exact. It's so good, honestly. And then you tied this to make it like tight. This is perfect, like more this jacket. Form fitting. It's weird because the belt's going the opposite way on this one, but it's the same exact jacket. Pop up, you like? Thank you. MJ, did you like this stuff? He likes the couch we got. MJ, I know who likes the couch we got. And his name's Bugs. And his name is Boogie. Alright, we're almost done, guys and gals. Probably mostly, mostly gals. So, these are all still Zara. Nice little faux fur. I'll be honest, I've never this seen this many nice pieces of clothing in one the lot. The thing is, like, either. for me to find one box coming from one person, the styles are actually styles that I like all of them. Like, And they all fit you. This is pretty tight. But... And at first, we didn't have any idea what he was even looking at. We were like, oh, yeah, Glom. No, because he kept going, like, let's Sammy, uh, do you like this? I'm like, uh, because we were so, not like. There were so I mean, many we other clothes, lost. too, that were terrible. In, yeah, the in the other so lot. So I was just like, yeah, that's great, Glom. Nice. Good for you. I did get <laughs> you know, a little, like, uh, Post Malone shirt, No, because he, he knew, though. He knew. That's why he kept bringing it up. So this is cool. Brian from AAA. <laughs> These are, like, tight, though. Kind of weird. I would just sell that one. Yeah, this one's Call it I'm not feeling that one. All right. And this is just the scarf. This is what makes me feel like it's from New York, and you'll see why for the next ones. This is there too, but you can't really go wrong with like a black scarf. And honestly, I don't. I have like winter coats, but most of them I've gotten from like Burlington. yard sales or yeah, Burlington Coat Factory. Makes so, sense. You know, Coat Factory. The girl loves Burlington. So this is there too. I don't. This is like a. The fact that they call it Burlington Coat Factory and that's where you bought your coats from. Sometimes they have really nice coats. What? But to be honest, I've found better coats going to places like this auction we just went to, obviously. And like yard sales and stuff like that. This is actually pretty cool. Kind of goes with this outfit. This is nice. This is just like a light little zip up jacket. I think it would be cooler if it had like a little hood on it. I love me some hoods. Alright. And this. Okay, so. This is an opening ceremony hat. And I think I looked it up. Pretty cool brand. The style of the hat makes me think that this stuff came from New York too. Because like. I would never look at this and be like, oh, this would be cute on. I'd look at this and be like, definitely for a guy. But. Wait, is opening ceremony a brand? Mm -hmm. Or is it like an opening ceremony for like a college? I don't think they would just make hats like this. In this style. The way that lady was spending money on Clothes um, that she left behind. And then just like poo pooed them. You never know what kind of school they were going to. Somewhere in New York, I'm telling you. So, hold on. You guys will know. And I'm sure some of you will probably look it up. So this jacket and then those. But this was Uni QLO. I don't know. It's You're not going to be able to see it. I'll look it up. I probably should have done that before I started this video, but... I haven't really posted anything for a while now, so just wanted to put something out there for you guys. Wait, didn't see this. Nothing. Like this is so New York. I feel very proper. It fits, it works with the shirt you have underneath. It's cut, yeah, it does. it's cut for a collared shirt. Look at it. Yeah, this so this shirt is from like Tall Bots and it's for like Tall Bots. For like plus size, I think. That? 
Oh, that shirt. I this was like, shirt, dude, it's that jacketing like for the plus sizes. Because it's I was like, like an that X, for an infant. But that, I thought the shirt was gonna be longer, and then I ended up washing it, and it like shrunk up. So that right there, that shirt, that jacket's for like a a cat. It's so small. Like Tiny. Buggy could fit in there. Buggy could. He might not even fit in there. So this is a trench coat. This is a trench coat made in the Philippines. This is the trench coat. It says dry clean only, but I washed it. Because I live on the edge, guys. And it's a chaps Ralph Lauren trench coat. And it's really light. That's kind of what I like about it. You know, this it's is, crazy. This is the trench coat that the Jack the Ripper wore in, a, in the last action hero. I kind of like it, though. Because it fits. Like, trench coats for, like, short people are no no. So you'd have to wear this with like some high boots because like I still I just look like I went like well, I guess I always look like I went into like grandma and grandpa's closet and dress up but this is like extra extra I but it's know. cool this would be better for like a tall guy or girl definitely either actually but it's in it's pretty a, good it's condition chaps what's chaps Ralph Lauren right it's Ralph Lauren, yeah. I feel like, is this vintage? That's nice though, I would sell that. It's very nice material. You might nice be able to material. get some decent money for that. It's all, it's 80% wool. Hmm. Would never have guessed that. So this is the money maker right here, guys and gals. Tim Claire, however you say that. Vest. Montclair. Montclair. Now I really look like I'm going to school, but. Are these the money makers? These are the money makers. Besides the $850 Canada Goose coat, which I'm keeping for life probably, um, these go for dumb money, and I, I don't really know why. Uh, it's just that type of thing, like brand. You They're, know what? I was just thinking maybe. This, like I'm talking about, like one thousand to two thousand dollars. These jackets. Go maybe for. this girl's grandma had money and just gave her Nordstrom uh, gift cards. That's true. For Christmas. That's true. That could be it. Cause like. But these are super cool. Like they actually fit me, so I might wear these. I don't know. Cause I was just thinking, like, what's a better present than being able to go pick your own clothes? I know, don't you? Like when people buy you stuff and you're like, why couldn't you just give me a gift That's card? That's what I'm saying. It's hard to buy clothes smart. for Smart. People. people who give out gift cards as presents. And if they're smart. Too, or rich. It's already. nice to have gifts too, like something to open. I'm just saying. Or she just had her, like, uh, her parents owned like a huge business and she just had a credit card that was attached to it. And just went to North. That's true. And they just had no idea what she was spending. All right. Moncla. You guys tell me how to say it, because I don't know. But. Montclair. Montclair Jackal. I would sell that. I thought it had a hole in it for some reason. Or did you like that enough to keep it? If this had a hood, oh, I'd be keeping it. I would put that one up for bids, starting but at like 250 But this isn't really like my Steve, I don't know. So yeah, I'll probably sell this and make back what we spent. Make just like on that jacket quadruple what we spent <laughs> on the whole freaking auction so i hope you guys like this video i know that just turned off but it's all good yeah i Scores. wanted to go and show so that you could show the uh box that it came in just so they can get an idea of how okay. mysterious it actually was so this is what what all these clothing items came in all right so Put them all on hangers so we can easily just roll them into the garage and take a still, obviously. So, yeah. Score. Scores, guys and gals. Scores. But where's the box we wanted to show them, right? Click it. Get the clicker and open the garage. The clicker. Is it in there? Got it. Woo. 
so it came in this crusty box. Just uh, it says coats and shoes in the worst shoes. Um, obviously they were party shoes, so most of them were ruined. Uh, I savored one pair, which I'm gonna try and wash. Should I show them those? Let's show you guys really quick. This box just sucks, but. So this box mysteriously taped contained all those thousands of dollars worth of clothes for that cheap. And honestly, I was about to look over it too until Glom started pulling out pieces. And the only reason I even was like, yeah, I'll take them was because of the size of the clothes. Because I knew they were all extra small and small. And they were cute, obviously. I didn't know anything. I knew the Canada Goose jacket was nice. I was like, oh, I'll definitely keep that, like, for myself. But the rest, I had no clue. Did you get those glasses there? No, I got these at a Halloween shop. They're cool, right? I oh, know, I'm kidding. <laughs> Shazzy, but look. So these are, like, just Converse's, but I might just try and, like, wash them and sell them because, surprisingly, I've sold crazier shoes on, like, Macari. So this we can just get rid of because it's kind of taking up space anyway. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I was super excited about, you know, scoring some cool clues. And I don't know what my next video is going to be, but stay tuned. If not, go to our other channel. We post on there often. And keep your chin up. And happy Halloween if I don't see you guys. Until then. Ow! What the hell? I'm gonna smack you. Keep putting that. In. Look at Paw Paw! Look at Paw! He wants to come out! <laughs>